Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. The topic of this video is simple and compound interest. Now, what is interest? Interest is the amount earned or paid by lending or borrowing a certain amount of sum a certain amount of money for a certain period of time a certain sum of money for certain period of time certain period of time simple interest or si is equals to principal into rate of interest into time rate of interest into time divided by 100 where principal is the money borrowed or lent out money borrowed or lent rate of interest is the money earned or paid per rupees 100 per year rate of interest is money paid or earned per rupees 100 per year and time is the time for which the money is paid, money is lended or borrowed. And the amount is equals to the total amount of money gained or, or to be given after a certain amount of years where amount is equals to principal plus interest. Now, suppose in a question we are given the amount, rate of interest and time, then the simple interest would be equals to A into R into T divided by 100 plus RT and principal is equals to 100 into A divided by 100 plus RT. Now suppose a certain sum P is borrowed for a certain time T. Let's suppose in time T the sum P amounts to rupees A1 at rate of R1% and rupees A2 at rate of R2% then P or the principal is equals to A2 into R1 minus A1 into R2 divided by R1 minus R2 and T is equals to A2 minus A1 divided by A2 into R1 minus A1 into R2 this into 100. So this is the time and this is the principle. Now suppose 1 by x part of a certain sum p is lent out at r1% simple interest and 1 by y 
part of P of P is lent out at R two percent simple interest and the remaining one by Z part of P is lent out at R three percent simple interest then and in this way the interest received is equals to I then the principal or P is equals to I into hundred divided by R one by X plus R two by X plus R R one by X plus R two by Y plus R three by Z where I is the simple interest earned in one year. Next is the annual payment that will discharge a debt of rupees P due in T years at the rate of interest of R percent per annum is given by 100 into P divided by 100 into T plus RT into T minus 1 divided by 2. Next is compound interest. The compound interest is equals to compound amount minus principal where compound amount is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power T where R is the rate of interest per annum and T is the time. Now the difference between simple interest simple interest and compound interest is that simple interest is calculated on a fixed principle whereas in compound interest the interest due at the end of the time is added to the principle and the amount so obtained become the principle for the next unit of time. So suppose the person has borrowed 100 rupees and the rate of interest is 10% so in the first year his principal would be rupees 10 but in the second year his principal would become rupees 110 in case of compound interest but in case of simple interest for any years his principal would remain rupees 100 this is the formula when the interest is compounded annually. Compounded annually. If the interest is compounded half yearly, the compound amount would be equals to P into 1 plus R by 2 into 100 raised to the power 2 T when compounded quarterly the amount would be equals to P into 1 plus R by 400 raised to the power 4 T and when compounded monthly then amount would be equals to P into 1 plus R by 1200 raised to the power 12 T. Now suppose the rate of interest for rate of interest for first year 
is R1, second year is R2 and third year is R3, then the amount compounded after three years, now these three rates are per annum, these rates are per annum, then after three years the compounded amount will be equals to P into 1 plus R1 by 100 into 1 plus R2 by 100 into 1 plus R3 by 100. Now if a certain sum at compound interest becomes X times at N1 years and Y times at N2 years then we have X raised to the power 1 by N1 is equals to Y raised to the power 1 by N2. Next is if a certain sum if a certain sum at compound interest becomes A1 in N years and A2 in N plus 1 year then rate of compound interest is is A2 minus A1 divided by A1 into 100% compounded annually and the sum is equals to A1 into A1 divided by A2 raised to the power n and this would be the initial sum or P is equals to A1 into A1 divided by A2 whole raised to the power n.